Hello everybody, my name is Brian, also known as Brian, welcome back to another video. And I lied, today this Devil May Cry's video is not going to be the Nero breakdown, that's going to be next week because I thought, you know, I'd rather have more time to think about it, write an uh, entire script, uh, analyze every move, well thought about uh, what I think about Nero's gameplay and the future of his gameplay when the game comes out. So I thought I'll, I'll, I'll work on that video a, a, little, a little bit more, so yeah, that video will be saved until next week. So you have this one. So we have got confirmation from the producer, Matt Walker. We got confirmation that Devil May Cry 5 is set after Devil May Cry 2. How about that? Yes, we're all celebrating. Yes, Devil May Cry 2 is not the finale. It's not the final game of the series. Devil May Cry 5 will continue on the Devil May Cry series. We're all celebrating and I really do hope you're celebrating. But as for me, I'm not celebrating actually. In all honesty, I'm kind of sad to hear this. I I'm really am sad to hear this. Why are you sad, Brian? Well, thank you for asking. The reason why I'm not I'm sad hearing this news is that though this is weird because I really wanted Devil May Cry 2 to be the last game because if Devil May Cry 5 was set before Devil May Cry 2, that means that this will give them a chance to hopefully make a remastered, I'm not remastered, a remake of Devil May Cry 2 because Capcom has stated that I do want to make a remix to make more remakes in the future and I was really hoping that they'll make Devil May Cry 2 a remake a, an entire remake from scratch uh, the, the from the gameplay mechanics they have uh, they have made in the past from the from the graphics from the graphics engine just to import it and to make a new Devil May Cry game Devil May Cry 2 being the finale the final game of the series or at least for Dante at least being the final game as for Dante being the protagonist of Devil May Cry, at least for now. That's what I really hope for it to happen, uh, but it, it, it's not really happening. Don't get me wrong, I am still excited. I am hyped as fuck. You have no idea the hype, the, the hype train that I am in. It is not stopping, it is going full speed. All right, so let me just state that. I am happy, I am excited for Devil May Cry 5. I'm excited, all right? I've been waiting for 10 years for this shit. As for me, when I first played Devil May Cry, the first, the, the protagonist of the Devil May Cry franchise was Dante. It was Dante. It was setting up his story from his father, from his mother, having him losing his family, his father, his mother, his brother against these demons. And it was a story of him taking revenge, seeking vengeance for the death of his mother and his brother and being the true son of Sparta. That's what, that's when I first started the game. That's what I pictured. That's what I had in mind in this entire series. It's not confirmed, but doing this is pretty much sure gonna be the final, the, the final boss in Devil May Cry 5 or the main boss in Devil May Cry 5. Or maybe one of the bosses. Maybe he's not the main main boss. Who knows? So I really thought that in the the protagonist will be Dante, and Devil May Cry Five will feature Dante back as the protagonist, fighting Mundus one last time. Because it does say this concludes the Son of Sparta storyline. And who are the Sons of Sparta? Dante and Virgil, not Nero. Remember, Nero is related to Sparta by blood, but he's not his son. He is his grandson. Virgil is his father. It's been confirmed already, all right? That's his father. It will conclude this, the storyline between Virgil and Dante. They say that Dante will have a major, major role in this game. How major will it be, though? Will it just be a side major that him dealing with his own vengeance against Mundus? Nero is the protagonist now, all right? Nero has been the protagonist since Devil May Cry 4, and that's it. <laughs> so in Devil May Cry 5, he is the protagonist. You cannot deny that fact. He is the protagonist of Devil May Cry 5. I wanted Devil May Cry 2 to be the final game for Dante. Hopefully Devil May Cry 2 remaking it. It's no redeeming himself from his mistake. Making Devil May Cry 2 a better Devil May Cry game because Devil May Cry 2 is shit. I wanted him to make Devil May Cry 2 the final game, remake the game, and have that conclude Dante's chapter. Rewrite the story, the characters, the setting, the, the game, the gameplay mechanics, the graphics. Remake everything. Just make Devil May Cry 2 the final game, the final chapter for Dante. So now Devil May Cry 5 is set after Devil May Cry 2 instead of before Devil May Cry 2. We probably won't get that. I just wanted to see the one man I grew up with, the protagonist of the series, Dante. Because that's who is still, he is still the protagonist of this series. Dante is still the protagonist of this series. He has three fucking games, an anime, fucking mangas, all right? Novels, he is the protagonist of the entire series. But we can see that Nero is kind of taking up the protagonist, kind of Itsuno wants 
the, the fire to be passed down to a new person. And I can see that. For doing that, passing the light to Nero and him Nero carrying the name of Devil May Cry to other future games, I want a true conclusion just for Dante finishing a Devil May Cry game with just him being the protagonist. But again, we still might get that. We still don't know how Devil May Cry 5 will play out. We don't know how it will conclude. Maybe it will conclude Dante's storyline with Dante and Virgil and his family, his bloodline, and maybe it will conclude. Maybe it will have a good conclusion. Maybe Dante and, and Nero are the protagonists, both of them. Maybe Dante will have a major role, even bigger than Nero. But we'll just have to see how they do it. We'll just have to see how the storyline is, how the characters will play out, how the missions will play out, how everything will conclude, how the Sons of Sparta storyline will conclude in Devil May Cry 5. I hope it's good. I really do hope it's good because if it's not good, we're we gonna be pretty pissed and we're gonna want an actual finale for the Sons of Sparta. But who knows, we'll just see. Anyway, this concludes my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think about Devil May Cry 5 being the finale of the Sons of Sparta storyline. Let me know if you wanted Devil May Cry 2, if you wanted to have a Devil May Cry 2 remake and be, that being the final game, the final chapter for Dante's story as him being the protagonist. Let me know your thoughts. As always guys, thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Devil May Cry content. My name is Brian, also known as Brett. I'll see you guys next time. Later.